It's just a building, a large classroom, a test, long hallways, an endless reading. But when you get there, you realize it's the place where you start planning your future. Here, our teachers not only care about your academic growth, but they also care about your growth as a person. Our teachers strive to make this next generation resourceful, respectful, and responsible. They will be there for you through your failures and to applaud you for your accomplishments. Our teachers are not only the best in the world, but they're the best for the world. Our students work endlessly to achieve academic excellence. We encourage our students to pursue their dreams after high school, whether it may be college, military, workforce, or beyond. Our counselors at Claremont High School will help you through it all. They will provide all the information you will need to successfully achieve your dreams. There are approximately 1,300 students enrolled in Claremont High School. Our enrollment rate has increased by 4.2% in the past school year. We offer unique classes that not all high schools provide, including biomed, robotics, and broadcasting. Our students will be equipped with the knowledge to take on their career paths after high school. We have something for every student to participate in. Our athletic department has won over 20 state championships since 2003. We provide a wide variety of athletics for our students. We push our athletes academically and physically in the classroom and on the field. Claremore has an award-winning band and choir program. Our choir has won 15 state superior ratings since 2003, and our band has won multiple as well. There are several classes for choir and band, including concert, jazz, and marching band, as well as mixed chorus, jazz, all women's choir, and many more. At Claremore High School, you will remember the friendships you created, the relationships you fostered, and your high school experience will be one to remember. Say hello to the new parent-teacher chat right in the Claremore Public Schools app. See district and school news and events, and now access classroom-specific announcements and parent-teacher chat. Click Rooms in the bottom right to easily switch from district-wide and school-wide news to class streams and messaging. Once logged in, you can access your students' classes. The class stream is where you'll find updates from each teacher with their announcements and upcoming assignments. Click on Menu to access that class's stream, assignments, and messages. Easily send a message to the class teacher by clicking the plus button and typing their name. Switch to another class by clicking on Classes in the bottom left. Click School app on the bottom right while in Rooms to switch back to District and School News and Events. To turn on Push Notifications for District, School, and Classroom Notifications, tap Settings and select Push Notifications. Say hello to Parent-Teacher Chat. The Claremore Performing Arts Center is one of the greatest attributes to Claremore High School. RPAC has many different categories of classes held there. Interested in choir? We have three different choir courses, which include Bel Chante, Mixed Chorus, and Jazz Choir. What about band? Well, we have three courses to choose from there as well. Concert, marching, or jazz band. How about drama? We have a normal drama class, as well as an advanced drama class for students who look to further their skills. On top of those three categories, the PAC also has a theater production class. This is for people interested in building and constructing amazing sets for our plays and musicals. If you need a place to sit and practice your material for choir, band, or drama, you can go into any of the many practice rooms throughout the different classrooms. Plus, near the drama room, you can find another room known as the black box. This is typically used for students to practice improv, singing, and acting in. Every year, RPAC holds several events. These include talent shows, choir and band competitions, and we also have a play and a big amazing musical at the end of the school year. So, if you are looking for a school with a state-of-the-art PAC to be a part of, then come to Clamor High School, or at least come see some of the amazing things we do here at our Performing Arts Center.
Zebras traveled to Tulsa last week to take on the Bishop Kelly Comets. The Comets entered the game with a 5-2 record, while the Zebras are trying to stay undefeated. The game started off hot with big plays like this from Gage Deckard, and this kickoff return from Walker Dunaway. The game of the week went into the half tied, and the scoring continued in the second half, including two touchdown runs from Tyson Grimmett, before the Zebras ultimately ran out of time, falling one point short of the Bishop Kelly Comets. Welcome to Claremore High School football. Your Claremore Zebras have traveled to the Tulsa Rogers field to take on the Tulsa Rogers Ropers. I'm Dave Jones, joined tonight by former Zebra head coach David Garut. Coach, thanks for filling in last week. Uh, not a problem. We struggled through it, you know. If we'd have had you there, we might have won. All I know is when I've been here, we've won. I leave I one know. game. Uh, well, you'd have got us over the hump. Uh, <laughs> we barely got through it, but it was sure, sure an exciting ball game. It sure was. I uh, pre appreciate Hunter helping, yeah. filling in for us, and I appreciate the job he did. Uh, Hunter did a great job and uh, certainly was the A part of the uh, team last week. Zebras won the toss and they deferred. Rogers will return the opening kickoff. Zebras will be kicking from the north end zone to the south at this beautiful field here at Tulsa Rogers. Very well lit here tonight. Bright field. Bright, bright field. Beautiful complex. Um, a little bit of breeze, nice cool night. Good football weather tonight. You bet. Wind out of the north. Uh, Zane Hepler set to kick it off. Let's go, yeah, Zane. Rogers is on the 10. I believe we're going to kick it, uh, scribble it down the middle. Hey, there we go. Went in between one leg. Turned out there across the 30 to the 32-yard line where the ro Ropers will take over first and 10. Number 14, Your Zebra's 7-1 and one on the season. Rogers two and six. Nick Garboni and a couple others there on the tackle. I got excited and wasn't watching that close. Uh, Will Rogers Ropers uh, got two wins on the season. They're one and four in the district. Uh, they've struggled to win, uh, but they've always got speed and can always go the distance at any time. Giovanni Peak, the quarterback. Two receivers on each side of him. Peep's looking for some room. He's running to his left, and he's met there for little gain. Looks like a couple of linebackers, Cagle, Cagle. and uh, Grimmin, are there to uh, keep Peep to uh, no gain. Braswell as well. There on the tackle. Tulsa Rogers head coach is a Rogers County boy, Levy Adcock. Yes, star I at Tulsa Claremore Sequoia. Yes. He's done a good job over here. Trips left. Second down and 10, no gain. They hand, though. No. Pete keeps the ball, and he's got some room right up the middle. He's going to oh. get out. He's going to pick up about eight yards. It's going to bring up third down and about one. Hayden Lee upends, upends him right there, right at the 40. It's going to bring up four, third down and short, Dave. Long one here. He rode them a long ways there and just took it and straight up the field. Big down right here. Yeah, there's a oh, flag. A penalty flag. Illegal, Illegal procedure. procedure. Flag on the play. Dead ball. False start is the call. I don't know. Explain that one to me, Coach. The only thing I can think of is if a lineman put his hand down and he brought it up off the ground because I didn't see anybody move. No. You know, once they put a hand on the ground, the lineman can't bring it up. That's the only thing I can think of because they weren't ready to snap it. No. Brings up third down and six. That uh, certainly helps the Zebras here. Opening possession for the uh, Ropers. 
third down and six from their own 35 yard the line. on this side had their hands looking down. left. He's got a man out there. Hayden Lee's there and he brings him down. Picks up about five. It's going to bring up fourth down and about a long one, maybe two. Again, uh, pass completed. Showed uh, receiver showed uh, really good speed. Hayden Lee uh, barely got to him, but did pull him down. Looks like uh, Rogers will go for it here on fourth down in the long one. And why not, Coach? Well, in warm up, I watched one of their punters with their punt team punted about 17 yards. So two receivers left, two right. Man behind Pete, the quarterback, straight gives up it the field. To, gives it to the running oh, back. He's hitting the backfield. No gain. Zebras will turn over on down. Zebras will take over. Good job there. Feliciano drove his man straight back into the backfield, and the back ran right into the back of it, made the play with him and a couple of the linebackers. Uh, man, they uh, no gain. And he didn't that, get that back was to the 40. A, yeah, that was a favorable spot, even <laughs> at the 40. They marked the ball back to the 40 just to put it on the line because he didn't even make it to the 39-yard line. There you go. Looks like Tyson Grimmett is the running back behind Braxton Etheridge. Cagle the up back. Two receivers left. Lee and, and Tyson Grimmett rolls over big for about six, seven yards over the left side off tackle over there. Brings up second down and three. Nice job up front. Uh, good positive gain. Good good job right there, Tyson Grimmett. Uh, kind of where he was at last week. Six-yard gain. Deckard and Lee split right. Same formation. Receivers on the right side this time. We're going to fake it ball. Etheridge out, rolls out. He's got open. a man wide open. Hits Hayden Lee. He's down. He's still on his feet, Coach. He's going to be pushed out just shy of the 10-yard line. And that's a bank first. First down. Zebras. Maybe inside the 10. I, I don't know. I think it, they're going to mark it at, right at, at the, the 10. 10. It'll be first and goal. Good job. He was wide open there, Coach. That was a go route and an out route, and the out route was wide open, and uh, Etheridge put the ball on the money. Etheridge rolled right. Looked good. Two receivers left. Grimmett in the backfield behind Etheridge. And they give the ball to Grimmett over the right side, and Tyson's looking for room. He's down inside the five before he stopped down about the three, four-yard line. Good pickup, six, seven yards, Tyson Grimmett. Nice job up front. Uh, just doing a good job right there, running behind the offensive line and um, running behind the fullback there, Kegel. Uh, 8.30 to go here, first quarter. Zebra's first possession. Big Ben Jordan there. Uh, ben Wilson. Second down and goal from the four. Etheridge hands the ball off to Grimmett again over the right side, and Tyson is in for the touchdown. touchdown. 8 8.08 to go here. Zebras jump up 6 to nothing. Zebras go 40 yards on their opening drive. And they were outside the 10, so I don't know if that's a bank first first down or not, but we'll recognize bank first as one of our sponsors. Zebras get on the board first. Six to nothing, awaiting the Zane Hepler extra point. Zebra bands here playing the old uh, fight song. Snaps back, and the kick is no good. Did they get blocked, coach. They got blocked, I believe. I never saw it airborne. Uh, you know, you'd have thought we had worked on that this last week. I don't. I didn't ever saw the snap, so I don't know what happened there. I know it got blocked. First quarter sponsor, Baker Hughes. We take energy forward, making it safer, cleaner, and more efficient for people and the planet. Baker Hughes, thank you for being a Zebra sponsor this season. Without you, we wouldn't be here tonight and be bringing you the Zebras every Friday night. I don't know if you all watching can see that sunset. We're looking straight west here. It's a beautiful sunset here. I remember two years ago I enjoyed, we were a little earlier in the season and uh, the sun was up and just a beautiful uh, skyline shot of downtown Tulsa and uh, the sunset here to the west. Beautiful stadium they've built mm -hmm. at uh, Tulsa, Roger, uh, Tulsa uh, Rogers. Never had a football stadium until about four years ago, Coach. It's just beautiful complex, uh, not far from TU's campus and uh, got a nice track around the field, and we're up high right above the home stands. Hepler 
Hits his foot into it. It's fielded at about the six yard line. And I believe the uh, man called for, well, what are we pointing at? Fair catch? I don't know what that signal is. <laughs> He's pointing at somebody. He's pointing at somebody. So somebody called a fair catch, or uh, looks like we're going to mark it back here at the nine yard line. I don't know. Uh, well, we had controversy in the college game last Saturday on a fair catch call. Did you yes, see that? Yes, I saw that. Yes. We had a kid one time in high school call fair catch down low yeah. where the referee behind him couldn't see it. Yeah. And then he took off and took it to the house. Did it, did it count? <laughs> the, the referee never saw it. There you go. They never called it. Uh, Jimmy Flynn, I remember. Uh, oh, Jimmy Flynn. Oh, Jimmy Flynn, he took it to the house. But he, we, I never saw the fair catch, but he did it down low. We saw it in the <laughs> Rogers will start off at their own eight-yard line here. 8.04 to go, opening quarter. Zebras lead six to nothing. Giovanni Pete, the quarterback, two receivers left. And Pete hands the ball off to the running back, and he picks up a couple of tough yards there across the 10 yard line. Feliciano on the tackle. Good job, Jose. Josh. Not Jose. <laughs> Jose Feliciano. He was a musician. Yeah, I, think, I believe so. Well, I think he was famous. This one might be famous one well, day. Well, Josh is famous tonight. Yeah, he's famous That's, for us on that is. tackle, gain of only about two. Zebras hold them here. We'll get good field position. They may not go for it down here on fourth down if we can hold them on the next two downs. Pete gives it to the rub back. That's, uh, That's in the backfield, whoever that is. Well, they, I believe that is their uh, RC there. Carter Johnson maybe. Uh, Oh, for that. Or Carter. Um, Carter, yeah, Carter Johnson. Carter Johnson. Yes. He's a defensive tackle. Yeah, he made the play there, Lissano. I believe. Bump and Braswell, defensive ends. We got you third down and nine and a half, Dave. Rex Clark. You've got uh, Nick Garbani. You've got Cagle in there, the linebackers. Robertson at the left corner. Two receivers left, two right. Pete drops back, looking for a man. Looking Throws it the across middle. the middle for the tight end. He hits his tight end. Coach, he's going to get out, and he's going to get a pick up a first down. No. It's a first I down, Coach. So. That was number 11. That was Isaiah Hammonds. 6'5", 240 tight end. Pretty good oh, size. Oh, I thought it was 13. No. Nope. Looked like 13 to me out there. Don't question me. I'm not. It looked like a little had, scat I've pack. The one's got two towels hanging off. I've got uh, a week's rest here. I've got fresh okay. eyes. Well, he First look, and he ten for the Rovers. To me. Hand the ball off to RC, and he's got room over the left side, and he picks up good yardage, picks up three or four yards, bring up second down and Grimmett, six. Grimmett on the tackle there. Um, going off the right side. Carter Johnson's coming back in. Dax Harding going out. We got bump at an end. Defensive end. Robertson's over here again at the left corner. And is that Deckard at the right corner? Yes, sir. And then home. Who's at free safety? Home. And they hand the ball right off there. to RC, and he's met back right there, there by Josh and Cagle. Right Feliciano there. and Cagle there. No gain. Going to bring up third down and long for the Ropers. You know, besides the quarterback, keeper a while ago, they haven't made anything on the run so far. If we can keep that in check, make them one-dimensional, that would sure help us. Third down. Big down right here. We, we made them go to third down every time. Third down and eight, let's say, for the Ropers. We need a sack right here. Pete drops back, looking right. He's got a man on a slant, right and he was wide open, and he's and gone. gone. That's Desmond Lee, and I don't think they're going to catch Desmond. Touchdown, Tulsa Rogers. Took it to the house over the middle. Just a little post route over the middle or slant route that he waited on for him to come open over the middle. 
Julio Gomez comes in to attempt the extra point for the Ropers. Good route, good throw yeah. on the money. Good speed. Gomez's kick is up and it's good. And with 4.54 to go, Tulsa Rogers takes a lead, seven to six over your Claremore Zebras. Coach, this is the 10th meeting of these two teams. And believe it or not, uh, Claremore leads the series five to four. Hmm. Our first game that these two teams played against each other was in 1939. Okay, and okay. it was right over here at Skelly Stadium, and it was the first night game at Skelly Stadium in the history of Skelly Stadium. It was the first night game at the University of Tulsa's Skelly Stadium. Hmm. It was a high school game between Tulsa Rogers and Claremore. Did you get that from your buddy? I got that from my Wayne? good friend Wayne McCombs. So that that's was, only maybe about 97% accurate. That was on September 29th, 1939. Rogers beat Claremore 12-6 to that night. Our friend Wayne's down at the World Series tonight. He's down in Texas at the opening oh, my. Uh, first opening game, of the, game Series. of the World Series. Well, yeah. congratulations to him. Uh, um, you know, um, I don't question Wayne. So I know Wayne is spot on. He's never failed me on any of his stats. Well, I can tell you this for sure, 100%. I know what my coaching record was because I was there. All right, let's go, Zebras. You know what your what your uh, records were in high he school? He was way off sides. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I wish they had called that. Uh, he was. They were way off sides. I know it. Why didn't they call it? Always had an offside coach standing over there to let me know in the headsets if they were way off sides, so you could let him know about it as he ran down the field. That's why they're off sides is because they're trying to kick it high and short. Uh, that's going to come into play before it's over with the kicking game. We got trips to the right. Deckard, Lee, and Holm to the right. Alexander split here to the left. Go route. That free safety can't cover him from where he's at. Etheridge drops back. He's going deep. He's intended out there for... Oh, hit Deckard right in the hand. His arm got hit as he was throwing it. Uh, Etheridge's arm did. I don't think he got quite as enough air under it as he'd like to have had. But uh, he did outrun the corner and the free safety didn't get there. Second and 10. Second down and 10 coming up for the Zebras at their own 35 yard line. Single coverage. Garbani, they flip it to Garbani on a little inside pass. Garbani's free over the right side. He needs out over midfield. Picks up bank first. First down, Zebras. Picks up about 18 yards there. Nick Garbani, a little, that's a pass because they pitch it forward there. And nice there. job of him. He about dipped it inside, then he took it back out uh, for extra yardage there. Zebras going fast, not huddling. Lee and Alexander split left. Deckard in single coverage on the right side. He's got the safety over there helping on uh, Deckard. One of these guys down here should be open and they hit it out here. They hit Alexander and he fights free and he's still on his feet. And he's down close to first down yardage. Coach, I think he does have a bank first. Coach, I think he does have a bank first. First down, Zebras. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to be premature. Coach, I got this. Okay, I'm I know you, you do. I got fresh eyes. I know you do. You two got receivers fresh drive. eyes. You've had two weeks off. Here we Edward, go. Same, same play on the other side. side. Hayden Look. Lee. Or no, that's Deckard. No, that's Hayden Lee. Is that Hayden Lee? That's touchdown. Touchdown, Zebras. And that's a bank first. First down. Zebras, touchdown. Two, three, three plays, Dave. Uh, Something like that. Just, just a few, and we score. Go back ahead. Whatever I say, you'll correct me. <laughs> no, I won't. No, I won't. Not all the time. Just when I'm accurate. Uh, <laughs> hey, that was good to see you right there, folks. Zebras didn't take uh, very long to go back ahead. Uh, uh, we don't want to give uh, Will Rogers any momentum here. We want to make sure. Zebras going to go for two now, Coach. Try to get We're back on go the, for two and try to get back up. even up here. Uh, that extra point team, 
I don't. I didn't see the ball, or the snap. I didn't see if it was low. Deckard is split left. Lee is split right. You've got two tight ends. And a little bootleg, oh, throw it deep. Right. He's got a man wide open there. And that was bump for the two-point conversion. conversion. And it's good. Very and the good. Zebras with 413 jump up 14 to 7 on the Ropers. We got another sponsor here, Coach? The we do. We got uh, RCV Bank. Is proud to be a sponsor of Zebra Athletics. RCV Bank, that's my bank. Member FDIC. Bank, I mean RCV Bank is a proud zebra sponsor we thank you rcb bank for supporting the zebras without rcb bank we wouldn't be here tonight thank you for supporting the zebras the wind's trying to lay a little bit dave still pretty cold here well, coach. we don't know, have anything blocking us no, from what i'm north saying end. is i'm on the north side of you i know i'm blocking you so that you're warmer but uh, I think it's uh, not blowing as much now as it was when we first got here about 6.20. I don't think the wind he... Uh, it is, com- it's, it's kinda, the wind has laid a little, hadn't it, Miss Johnson? She's grinning with me. Competing so against you're you. you're wrong again. Competing against you blowing, I think the wind just gave hey, up. Hey, come on, let's boot that thing. <laughs> Back over to the eight yard line. Tackle right there, almost got him right there. Garbani, Garbani slowed him down. Cleaned then, up there by number 80 for the Zebras. Uh, and then cleaned up by Robertson. Oh, was that Robertson? Mm-hmm, number three. Uh, I believe. First down and 10 for the Rogers Ropers. Here we go, 408 to go in the quarter. Zebra's gonna get a stop and another quick score right here. Nice crowd here by Will Rogers. Nice crowd by the Zebra fans. First cold night that we've had relatively uh, with, uh, you know, temperatures below 60. I mean, it's not that cold. Looks like they're in motion there. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeps it, bumps there, uh, and uh, Garbani, Rex Clark. Host of Zebras, as we like to say. Zebras. He's going to bring up second down and eight. 3.55 to go here. Opening quarter, Zebras lead 14 to seven. Garboni and Bump, that was my mistake. Again, Dave's shaking his hands up and down. He, you know, he's he's got to be right. Here we go, come on, Zebes. <laughs> Quarterback, quarterback keeps it. takes it inside. He doesn't get much. Somebody had more than legs took the ball away. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Josh, Josh Feliciano took it, it away from him, touchdown. and it's a touchdown. How about that, Josh Feliciano? I don't know if we heard a whistle or not, but uh, he just took the ball away. Quarterback was still up. So uh, Somebody had him around the legs and yeah, was holding him up. That was bump. Go, bump was, was down bump. low. Okay. Uh, he dove in from the side down low. Uh, and kind of stopped him, and then Felici- uh, Feliciano, Feliciano just- kind of jumped in and grabbed the ball and took <laughs> off. <laughs> Good job, Josh. Yeah. I said something about we need to get a stop and a quick score. Well, uh, we did. About as quick as we could do it. Hepper's kick there is up. And hey, we're back on track. We got that there one through. Go. 324 yeah, to go here. Opening quarter, Zebras jump up 21-7. Coach, what did you think of the place I took you to dinner tonight? It was uh, nobody there when we showed up, folks. Nobody. I was kind of skeptical, I will admit. I took, I took him up north. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> north and west of here. I was a little skeptical because there was not a soul in the establishment. But within 15 minutes, it was full. And we were the first ones there. And it was very good, very good Mexican place, uh, very good. I was, I was. Uh, El Phoenix Verde, I believe is the name of it. El Phoenix Verde, yeah. I can. But it was, when we walked in, I was like, oh gosh, I got him in here. I'd been there before and I took coach there and there wasn't a soul in this place. <laughs> and we walked in and honestly, 10 minutes later, there was 30 people in there. Yeah. And every table was full. Yeah. And it's a it's a, a square <laughs> restaurant. I mean square. I mean it's just just a one room restaurant. And it, I mean it was it was packed when we left. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh, 
Uh, just off Utica, north of Admiral, a couple of blocks. Anyway, good. Uh, here we go. Hepler puts his foot into That's it, and it's going to go in the end zone. Very Touchback. Good. Wow. Who was that? Uh, over there, five. Here we go, Zebras. The Rogers will take over first and 10 at their own 20. A very historic school here in, in uh, Tulsa, Coach. This is the, I believe, the third or fourth high school built here. I think Tulsa Central was here. Then Booker T. Washington was built. And uh, and then I think uh, this school might have been the third school. This was the suburbs. Okay. This was the suburbs back in, ninth, in the 30s. This okay, was the, very good. So... Quick pitch out here to RC, and he's met in the backfield there. That defensive end was, Grimmett, was that Grimmett out Grimmett there? Grimmett was there first. Johnson jumped on top. Nice job of Carter Johnson running down the line as well. Good job. And uh, I know Tyson. Uh, and Tyson. that was, uh, I believe, bump on that side that time as well. But uh, Grimmett was there first. Wilson checks in for bump there. Loss of about three. Two and a half, three. Three receivers over here to the right side. Pete's looking for a man. He's getting pressure. held at the end. The end got held big time. Throws it incomplete. It's going to bring up third down in about 12. Flag on, uh, flag on the play. What do, what's that for, Coach? Uh, I don't know. We Holding. had two of them locked up here, 66 and them. Illegal man downfield. Oh, yeah, that's lineman downfield. He's blocking us about six yards downfield. I think we decline that, and let's go third down. Yeah, I believe I would. What do you think they're going to do here? Um, oh, what, 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 I yeah, we're going to decline it, I yeah, believe. Yeah. Illegal man downfield against the Ropers. That penalty is declined. Yeah. It's going to bring up third down and 12. I think it's only five-yarder anyway. 2.42 to go here, opening quarters. Your Zebras lead 21-7. Two offensive touchdowns and one defensive touchdowns. Josh Feliciano's played hard all year, Coach. He's done a good job inside one of our mm -hmm. uh, defensive tackles. Gotten and better and better, I think. Yep. And Carter Johnson's gotten yeah, better, too. Really has. I believe so. Gotten better. Um, just. Uh, timeout is called for by uh, Rogers. And with this timeout, are we going to take a commercial? This time out on the field, are we going to do a commercial? Yes. No, we're not doing a commercial. That's okay, Coach. We'll do one at the quarter. That's okay. all right. Okay. We'll, we'll feel. This is field time for us. What do you? How, how was well, golf today? Uh, I was pretty good until I got to the tenth hole. Played pretty well the front nine. Got to the tenth hole and I met Mr. Water. Yeah. And what about on eighteen? You really on, met on 18, Mr. <laughs> 18 uh, got ready to tee off, and uh, it come a downpour. And we finished it out, and, uh, yeah, we got soaked. Uh, it's always nice to sit down in a golf cart, and uh, when you sit down. Squeaks. The, <laughs> the seat was soaking Squeaks. wet. I thought it was still dry. Here I we go, Zebras. Attention. Big third down here. here we go. We get the ball back right here. 2.42 to go in the quarter. Two receivers left, two right. Are they going to try that slant again, maybe, Coach? It works Possibly over more. the middle. We don't have a free safety uh, in the middle of the field. But uh, they're going deep on the left side. He has a man. Well, good catch. Down. Our, our defensive man yeah. fell down. Home fell, fell down. Yeah, Gunner fell down. and uh, But I don't think if he does, I mean, he's Yeah, he fell catch. down, too. Yeah, it's a very good catch. But uh, our defensive back fell down. I don't know. Uh, he got his hips turned wrong and then he fell down. But we didn't have a deep free safety over the middle. Um, First down and 10 for Rogers. Ball out to the their own 38 yard line. Looks like somebody moved there. They hand the ball off to RC and he's gonna mm -hmm. maybe pick up a one, maybe. Maybe, maybe a yard. Um number 56, Ben yeah. Jordan had to play. Mm -hmm. That's Feliciano. That's 66. Good job, Josh. Yeah, Ben Jordan's a little taller than uh, Josh. Say hello to Ben's relatives down uh, down under. I know they're watching. Pete drops back, has a man out here in the flat. He's going to pick up about seven, eight yards. Brought down there by uh, Grimmett and uh, 
who else? Well, Lee was over there, and Grimmett cleaned him up. I know Tyson's uh, grandmother Mary's at home watching on TV right now. Very good, uh, very good. Once again, Tyson Grimmett in on the tackle. Third and two for Rogers from their own 47 yard line. Big down right here, third and two. Tried to get us to jump. We didn't jump. Good, good discipline. Good job, defensive line there. Good discipline. Five seconds on the play clock. They hand the ball off to Arce, and he doesn't get there. Uh, Cagle was there. Well, he didn't gain anything. He may have lost something. Well, they're going to call it fourth down in about two, a long two. Mm -hmm. It's more like fourth and two, PA. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, let's cheer out our offense on this. Kick. Twenty. Uh, oh, they're going to have to. They're going to have to snap the ball here. There's about a second yeah. differential between the play clock and the game clock mm -hmm. here for the first quarter. They're going for it. Fourth down. They're probably going to throw it. That's the only thing they've had success and with. And they do get here a quick go. one out here. It's incomplete. Boom, that's a good job. Incomplete Hayden pass. Lee. Good job, Hayden Lee. He broke on it quick. 6.2 seconds to go. Good Zebras job. We we'll get the ball with the wind right here. One play with the wind. We will be having a commercial from one of our fine sponsors here at the end of the quarter, I believe. Let's see what the Zebes can draw up. One play with the wind. Ah, the wind's not horrible, Coach. No, it's not too bad. It's just a little breeze out of the north. It's kind of gusty. Sometimes it won't have anything for a while, then it'll kind of gust up a little bit. Two receivers left. Uh, we got a flag. What did we do? Offsides called yeah. on Rodgers. Their coach is telling them to back up. I think that uh, left defensive end was lined up offsides. So it'll bring up first down and five. Decent crowd for Rogers here tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about a while ago. I'm very, very uh, impressed. Still supporting their team. That's really good. Quick pitch out here to Gage Deckard. Deckard. He's he tries to jump over a man. He picks up. Well, he gets out of bounds with 1.5 seconds. That's good. Oh, somebody's out here yelling at somebody. Hey, that's a uh, bank that's a first. First down. Zebras. I tell you what, one of their coaches is out here getting with their uh, players. And that's it. That's the end of the first quarter. I thought we went out of bounds, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, end of the first quarter, 21-7, your Zebras. We'll be back for second quarter action in a minute. in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Welcome back to Claremore High School football. We're here for the second quarter. 21-7, your Zebras lead the Tulsa Rogers Ropers. Coach, what do you got for us? I got a shout out to Rusty and Reagan Robertson. They're out of town on business and watching us from Colorado. I just want to give them a big shout out. I know they work hard for the Zebras. And here we go. We got first and 10 from the 35. Trips right. Little pick route. We're going deep. Oh, we got tripped. And we're not no flag at all. It's going to bring up second down and 10. 
Uh, we had Hayden Lee wide open on the left flat. He crossed over uh, the middle of the field. We got second down and 10. Ball at the Rogers 35 yard line. Hand the ball off to Grimmin. He's looking for room over the right side and Tyson picks up three and a half, maybe four yards. Nice job there by Aaron Braswell. He drove his man about 10 yards downfield. Two receivers right, one left. Alexander and Lee to the right side. Deckard's got single coverage there. We mm. jump off sides. Yeah, they didn't call it. Deckard's got man coverage up top, coach. He's off on pretty deep spot routes there at the top, about a four yard, five yard spot route right there. And that's there. what we did. Yeah. Got the golden ball to Gage. Let's see what he can field. do. Well, yeah. You know what? Gage's still on his feet, fighting. Yeah. Don't get hurt. Don't get hurt down yeah. to the 20. Coach, that's good for a bank first. First down, Zabers. First down. As my grandson would say, Zabras. Zabras? He calls them Zabras. Touchdown, Zabras. Zebras on the move. 11 minutes to go here, second quarter, leading 21 7. Hey, we Threatening. Did, we're in the red zone now. We're on the 20 yard line. Let's go punch it in. We got a height advantage over here on the right. And Etheridge drops back and wide open, open Jesse Kegel. Kegel. Oh. <laughs> Jesse gets down to the one. Bank first. First down. I, I, I wanted Jesse to score right there. Hey, if he just catches it and breaks it to the right away from the guy. <laughs> Jesse Kegel. Jesse Kegel is what they're saying here, but he's. Jesse Cagle, good catch. Good job, Jesse. Good, good read by Etheridge. Oh, they're going to get put Jesse in the backfield. They're going to yes. give it to him. Let him score here. Hand it to Jesse. Touchdown, there you go. Claremore. Touchdown, Jesse. Very good <laughs> job right there. Atta boy. 10-24 to go. Zebras jump up 27-7, awaiting the Hepler extra point. 10-24 to go in the second quarter. Coach, one of your better friends sent me a text and said, uh, Coach Groot needs a shirt that says, I may be wrong, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's one you, of your friends. That's one of your friends. That's one of our friends. I bet I can guess who it is, and I haven't even looked. I haven't even looked at the text. Oh, did uh, it get in? Did it get in? It did. Yes. Uh, I haven't even looked at the text. Let me guess, okay? All right, guess. I bet his last initial, a last is W-O-F-F. No. Oh, it's oh, not. No. Oh, no. It's not Wofford. But he's, but he's up there with Woff. <laughs> <laughs> he sits with Woff at the home games. I ought to give it to you right there. Probably Goetcher. Well, I, not. I, 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 yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not going to neither confirm nor deny. But, oh, uh, okay. But, uh, well, Goetcher, if, if he was a true, if he was a true Zebra fan, he'd be over here watching. That's right. You know, if I was a board member, I'd be here watching, you know, uh, support the Zebras. Coach, you never, sit, you never, sit, you sit never should have, you never should have sent that text because yeah. he's got, Coach has got another two hours of airtime here. Yeah, sitting and, at home there in the comfort of your own home and uh, in your warm little house and watching uh, the Zebras. Appreciate you supporting them. Here we go, Hepler Zebras lead 28-7. You critique all you want, though. Here we go, here we go. A little short little kick. That was a different kicker. That wasn't Hepler, that was 15. And he got in on the tackle. 19. Uh, 19, sorry. Hudson Lee. Yeah. That's Hayden Lee's younger brother. All right. Good job, Hudson. Yeah, nice, good high short kick. He, he got in on the tackle, too. Rodgers will take over at their own 41-yard line here, 10-20 to go. Walker Dunaway at the left corner. Robertson at the right corner. Rex Clark. And Hayden Lee at an outside backer. Landon King is in at left defensive Illegal end. Illegal procedure on the Ropers. Going to back him up five. We might start be uh, staggering some players here, Coach. And, uh, well, kind of giving maybe our starters, some of them that going both ways, a little bit of a break. Uh, Grimmett's still out there. 
Tell you what, I tell you, Garboni played a little bit of linebacker last week and kind of gave Grimmett a little bit of spell, and he didn't play bad. He just he just kind of he's he runs he, really well. Pete Rose right. He's got a oh, man wide open. Oh, he had uh, Gunner yeah, Holm intercepts it though. Ball. Gunner Holm with the interception at the own 30 35 yard line, Bring and Gunner gets it across midfield. He's going to be brought down at the. Rogers 46 yard line. I tell you what, uh, number 13 for uh, on a short post. Yeah, he was running wide open there. Yeah. Kid that scored the touchdown. Yeah. He was. If he'd have seen open. him, that's who I thought he was throwing it to. And then you I know? thought, well, he overthrew him. Yeah. And then uh, Gunner was there. Good job, Gunner. Zebras will take over first and ten. The Rogers 46 yard line. 10:06 to go in the second. Still a lot of time left. Drew Mason at center. They jumped again. Etheridge rolling left, throwing back right. Intended for Rex Clark out there, and it wasn't a real pretty one. Well, uh, actually, uh, Rex didn't help him out there. Rex turned all the way around backwards. If Rex would have stayed running, uh, it would have been, a uh, ball would have been right there. Um, I don't know why Rex turned around. I think that I don't know if Rex thought he wasn't getting the ball. Maybe I don't know, but uh, got to keep running. Decker checks in up the receiver up the top. Bunch formation down here on the right side. Man coverage. They hand the ball off to Grimmett around the right side, and he's got a he's got a bunch of blockers. And Tyson rumbles down for about 14, 15 yards for a bank first. First down, Zebras. Nine fifty one. Zebras on the move. You know the guy that's on uh, Deckard is so far off. You got the you got the spot route anytime. Um, that play there. Here we got a new running back in the game. Uh, this is King. Um, Looking for Deckard. Etheridge throws it downfield. Touchdown. He got on the grabbed. Money, on the money. Touchdown. Etheridge. To Gage Decker, Decker, 33 yards. Coach, that's a bank, bank first. first. First down, touchdown. Zebras jump up Zebras. 34 to 7. And this is Hepler coming in to do the extra point, Coach. I tell you what. Alexander is holding. I'm not sure who the who the long snapper is here. Uh, usually bump, I believe. Yeah, he usually does it. Uh, Snap yes. was a little high. Uh, 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 he got, it, just got over. it over. It barely made it, it over. over. It was a high snap. Yeah, I don't know that uh, it well, could have been any less and got over. <laughs> no, it, it was. It hung in there. I tell you what, maybe the best action I'm seeing on football tonight is uh, over here in the grass on the zebra side. Looks like there's a bunch of seven to. 10-year-old boys playing a pretty good game of cup football over there. Yeah. They're rolling it on that green grass on that hillside. They're having fun. Yeah, they're having a good time. Hopefully none of them have to go see Dr. Hardridge in the morning. Whoops. Looks like a little quickness over there. Future zebras over there on the grass. I like to see it. Our friend has replied. Let's don't give him any, any more air time. Yeah, he's sucking up to us He's now. already got he's, too much air time. He's sucking up to us. <laughs> <laughs> too much air time already. All right. Too much air time. Here we go, Zane. Hey, you know how many times he's asked me to play golf this summer? Probably never. this fall? Never. None. No. You got to shoot a low score like him in order to get to go with him. You bring him down a little bit, probably. He doesn't play Hepler's that. kick. Hit the ground. It's it going to hit the ground. All right. There's Garbani. Garbani got a hand on him. He but comes Garbani back. comes back. <laughs> Had a boy, Nick. <laughs> Good job, Nick. Nick Garbani. He whiffed first time through, kind of yeah. olayed right through the. He didn't line. give up on him, though, nope. did he? He turned around, came back and got him. Good job, Nick. Oh, 9-14, Coach. This quarter's not moving very quick. No, it kind of slowed down, did it? Let's run the ball, people. Hey, let's go hard work with quality service and dependability and heating and air installation and geothermal. The Vickery Heat and Air team to keep your home comfortable year-round. Vickery Heat and Air, thank you for being one of our fine sponsors. 
Three receivers right. Pete throws it over here and pick, has a man, and he's going to be brought down for about a five-yard gain, maybe four-yard gain. That's Jesse Cagle. They're going to keep the ball. So he runs out of bounds, obviously, but he says wind the clock. Is that? Do you not stop the clock when you go out of bounds? I guess not, Dave. <laughs> Okay. Maybe a rule change, you know. I, I don't know. Um, if anybody knows and knows my cell phone, you can feel free to text me that rule. He wound it there and he clearly he went, went out clearly of bounds. On his own volition. I mean, he ran yeah. going forward. He ran. Uh, so there we go. Hand the ball off to RC and he's hit back there. Carter That's Johnson. Big. Carter Johnson hits him first. Drug him. Uh, it's going to bring up third down and five. Down by number 54. Oh. Harding and number 71, Carter Johnson. Brings up a third Dax Harding down helped a little bit there on top. For on her own yard line. Third and five. Twins left. Slot right. Pete look, has a Spot man out. Oh, Ooh. in and out of his hand. Good hit by Rex Clark there. No, excuse me, that's 27. 27 is jo Josiah Miller. Pretty good hit right there. Make sure he didn't catch it. Hayden Lee back deep. Davis might be interesting right here. Fourth and five, punt team is on. He's only about 11 yards deep. That's a good nice snap. Nice snap. Just a one step oh, a good and punt. good punt. Nice Hayden punt Lee fields in his own 33. Oh, and he fumbles the, the ball. ball, and it's uh, recovered there. Was that Lee? That was Lee. He got yeah. it, and he fumbled it, and Rodgers will take over. First and 10 at their own 24, or the Claremore 24-yard line. 7.40 to go here. Second quarter, Zebras lead 35-7. Definitely um, caught it clean, got hit and stripped. You know. Thirty-five to seven, seven forty to go for halftime. Pete keeps the ball, Fade going route. deep. He's got a man down there in the end zone, and it is incomplete. incomplete. Pretty good coverage. Is that Robertson? I couldn't tell who it was, but pretty good coverage right there. That's number four for Walker the Walker Dunaway. Walker Dunaway. Pretty good I, I, coverage. I, you know, last week I, I, I stayed home and watched the game, and I will say this. It's a lot easier to see the numbers on the at TV, home, a TV than it is here. for us here. Okay, I, mm. I could uh, clearly yeah. see it. You all were struggling, not you. Well, yeah. Hunter, Hunter wasn't. You were struggling yeah. last week. Yeah, to see to see the numbers, and it's. Uh, I know it looks Easier clear. On TV. It looks clear as day for some of you all watching on TV, but we're a couple of old men up here, and Top for whatever reason, box. we can't hardly see these numbers sometimes. Anyway, I'm Grimmett. making excuses. Clark. And Harding. I think it was 54. Rogers Ropers. Zebra's 21 yard line. I'd like to see us bring a little bit of heat right here and maybe keep him from getting the ball thrown. I'd like to see us get out of this both game times without getting anybody hurt. Yeah, I would too, but uh, we, uh, we need to put a little pressure on him right here. The spot there right, go. it's incomplete. It's going to bring up Good fourth down by Robertson. six. Good coverage by Michael Robertson. Fourth down and seven. You know they're going to go for it here. What would you call if you were Rodgers? I'd uh, quarterback sneak. I wouldn't. I was never the offensive mind you were. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're not going to ask me. Oh, yeah, Coach, what would you call here if you were Rodgers? I'd call the play that works. Okay. I'd probably run a quarterback draw, drop back, and 
Have him run it right now. Oh, Too late. There Sir we Garbani. Go. Nick Garbani. That brought a little heat. Good job, Set Nick. See if it had ran a, a QB draw right there, he'd still be running. Well, if they'd run the sneak, he'd got more than he got there. <laughs> 6.47 to go well, here, yeah. second quarter. Zebras take over on down. The sneak uh, wouldn't have scored, got the first down. I think it would have. They're going to be. Uh, QB draw would have got him a six point. It's going to be marked right on the 25 yard line. We got 6.47 to go. My hands are getting cold. Hey, I got my gloves on. I, you know, my insulation, I mean, my circulation's not very good. I took you to eat Mexican. Oh, no, that's why I'm standing up. Oh, we, <laughs> oh, we fumble. The ball. Same quarterback, same center. What do we got? Uh, it's kind of a little little low, but uh, could have, should have been caught. Looked a little hot there coming back. Maybe so. Uh, that's our... That's Drew, this regular center, and that's uh. Oh, we lost ten on that. Is that Smart Braxton? thing though by Etheridge, he didn't try to do too much with it. He just got on it. One receiver left, two right. Yeah, we got single coverage on Deckard at the top. Well, if that's Deckard. The same little play yeah. they got to Garbani earlier. Nick's gonna got, not get out there. He's gonna Hang pick on up. the ball. He's gonna. Oh, he's still on his. Fi- yeah, they're going to call him down there. Nick's still oh on his my. feet. I don't know if he stepped out of bounds. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to bring up third down and 20. Third down and 22. Now, why is the clock stopped now? Okay, let's wind it. He was. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to have three receivers right, Alexander, Lee, and Deckard. One man left. Poster out. Etheridge rolling right. Gets the ball to Deckard, and Deckard slips down. He had some, uh, had a little bit left to go there. He only he picked up about 12 yards, but uh, fell down. It's going to bring up fourth down and about eight. So we're staying the offense and staying on yeah, the field, Coach. I don't know why we don't just punt it. Well, 35 to 7, you know. I think I we're going to try to get him to jump first. Okay. And then have a decision. Yeah. That's it, defense. That's it for our defense. We're down. That's King in the backfield. Yeah, we're trying to get him to jump. We we'll might call timeout here, Coach. We haven't taken one. Yep, there we go. Call timeout. Don't not, don't hate that play right there. That's a good job. I don't. I don't hate that play at all. They almost did. Yep. If I do that play, though. Yes, sir. I do it from under center. So they can hear the center. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot easier to get the defensive lineman to jump under center. Hey, do we, uh, we got another second quarter sponsor? Oh, we do. You want me to read it? Sure. Bank First has been ranked one of the nation's strongest banks by Bank Director Magazine for 15 consecutive years, strength, security, and loyalty. Bank First, member FDIC. Bank First, thank you for being a Zebra supporter. Without you, we wouldn't be here tonight, Bank First, so we appreciate you supporting the Zebra team. Mason bend about end for the first punt of the night for the Zebras. He's gonna be punting into the win. And that is Joshua Bump is the deep snapper. We do need to punt it away from this guy. Just punt it over to the left side. Yeah, punt it to the left and make sure your punt team knows that and you communicate that. Good snap. Bend about gets a punt away. It's going to hit and roll, a zebra yeah. roll there. And rolls dead at the 41 yard line where the Rogers Ropers will take over. First and 10, 4.48 to go here. Second quarter, zebras lead. 35 to seven. Whoa. Whoa. We about lost one off the rail here. One of uh, Dave's uh, cheat sheets. Cheat sheets uh, about blew off up here. Yes, I have cheat sheets. Can you believe that? Yeah, they got a good <laughs> spot here. Uh, put it at the 41. Coach, at this point, just, just not getting by hurt. Yeah, we just need to. 
clock to run. Pete rolls right. Feliciano. And it's incomplete. It's caught over there by Zebra's number 61. That was Ben Wilson on the sideline. <laughs> I think he dropped it. <laughs> he did drop it. <laughs> Looks like they're still doing some construction here. You think that's park there, Coach? Or we got, we got some, uh, they're doing something here to this field. Looks, Looks nice. like storage over there. Yeah, I bet it is. Very nice. So I don't know what they're still working on. Second down and 10, 441 to go here before half. We got a counter the ball off side. To RC. Grabbed around the legs down there nice by play Tyson by Gr Grimmett. Grimmett, nice play. Nice job of a good read. Good read coming off the edge and getting under that. Tyson Grimmett in on the play, number 71. Carter Johnson in on the tackle, too. Third down and 10 for the Rogers Ropers. Third down and nine, nine. upcoming. Yeah. 4.15 to go here in the opening half. Double twins on each side. Quarterback drops back. Boom. He is dropped oh, down there. Bye, Josh bump. Bub. There's a flag down. Probably going to have a hold, Coach. I would say. Usually in that area. Hopefully it's not a. Hit to the head. Yeah, it's holding. Yeah. Holding against the Ropers. That play is going to be declined. It's going to bring up fourth down and about uh, 13. And the Rogers punt team comes out. Good we need to Hayden Lee, a little cold hands, Coach. You think last that last fumble had anything to do with the cold hands? Or? It might have, might have. I don't know. Hayden Lee's been pretty, uh, pretty uh, consistent back there. You know, um, it happens to good ones. We got four getting out there late. All right. This yeah. one's now. Nope. Oh, he's letting that one roll. <laughs> oh, he touched it. Oh, he it. touched it way back there. <laughs> he touched it twice. Yeah, they're coming up. Give it to Zebras. Will take over. <laughs> First and ten from the their Claremore nine yard line. Three twenty three to go here. Opening half. Coach, I might go inside at that time. I might too for a few minutes. Uh, warm up a little bit. Uh, Maybe you can go get us some hot chocolate. Yeah, I'm still recovering from last week. I'm still under the weather a little bit. You <laughs> are. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> yeah, I'll go get you something. No, I'll get it. It's no, not that far. It's not that I far. Know, I'll go down there with you. King at tailback. And they give it to Landon, and he's stopped. For no gain. We got somebody ran completely through, uh, unblocked. We Looked might like have a linebacker some on this side. We might have a couple of. All right. They, uh, I believe they were in one play. We had a couple of substitute linemen that were in one play. Ben Jordan's back in there. That right tackle. Timeout, Ropers. Timeout, Ropers. 2.54 to go here. Coach, what else we got at halftime? We got anything at halftime? Uh, looks, looks pretty clear. Uh, the crew for tonight. Hey, let's talk about the ZTV crew. The crew for tonight. We got uh, Gracie. Gracie. Mac 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 Manny. Mac 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 Manny. Mac Mac Manny. Ariana Ashlock. Jackson Keller. And Ella Raglan. <laughs> Did a great job. Hey. Did a great job tonight. And, uh, and then we got Miss Johnson that's leading this fine team and she does an excellent job of getting them here safe and getting them home safe and setting them up. Yes, excellent job. They've been doing such a great job tonight. We got a surprise for them. Yep, we got a surprise for them. We got some surprise for them here at halftime. They can't wait. We told them we had a surprise for them and they're just- They're uh, giddy, they're giddy coach. Yeah, they're a little giddy. We got a little uh, live action over here north of the stadium. Oh. Uh, going slow. Pitch it out there. We got a man out on the left side. He's on his feet. He's going to be run out of bounds. Looks like Deckard. Picks up about six, seven yards. 
Pins on a mark over there. Uh, looks like he's on about the 15 yard line. Third and five and the clock is still running It's time. 2.28 to go. So we haven't figured out the rhyme or the reason. When our clock operator is, uh, there we oh, go. Oh, we got him that time. We got him. And all of our linemen are holding their hands up. Well, I'll tell you what the deal is with the clock. Okay. There's one guy in there running everything. You know how at Claremore there's like 27 oh, guys okay. are on the payroll at and, Claremore and that he's are, oh. are all getting a check over there, <laughs> and everybody has their own little thing. This poor guy's over here by himself so doing everything. Doing everything. Yeah. Okay. Hey, he's already running it, and the chains aren't even set. Yeah. So we need to complete a post route. Oh, he got hit there. Deckard. Uh, okay. <laughs> This Etheridge is, got uh, Etheridge got hit there hit. when he released the ball. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from. I, who was it? Do you know? Uh, got hit. We're lucky uh, we played defense on the back end of that. It's going to bring up second down and 10, 2.04 to go in the half. 35 to 7 here. Zebra's up. We've got tight trips left. One split right. Hands the ball off to Grimmett over the left Grimmett side. Over the left side, and he <laughs> makes very little. It's going to bring up third down, minute 57 to go. Roper still playing hard. I was impressed with they introduced the seniors for Rogers tonight, and uh, some of the kids, what they had to say, and then you know words, yeah. words of encouragement to yeah. the student body, and uh, very impressed with what some of the kids uh, uh, had to say, and and. Uh, we got one uncovered out to the left. Etheridge rolling. He's Etheridge is running, running, running. He's still he's going to be brought down. Sack down there. Etheridge not too happy there, but he did the smart thing. Yep, he sure did. And looks like Rogers takes a timeout. Yeah, we could have thrown it out of bounds. Is the only thing I know. You know. So we don't take such a big a loss. One fourteen to go, fourth down and a long. Zebras are going to have to punt. Ropers take a timeout. That's their, That's final their last time. and yep. final timeout. Is that redundant? Last and final? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, either he's gonna. I'm gonna get backhanded here. In I'm a just trying to prove a point. Okay. Well, you did it. Since you're sitting there looking at your phone and not telling everybody, I'm trying to do your job and mine. <laughs> Been so, about in to uh, punt the ball. Fourth down and about 23 for the Zebras. Ball on the. Claremore 10 yard line. Zebra's second punt of the half. But about hits a nice one. Nice punt. It's going to roll. It's going to get a good Claremore roll. It does. Don't touch it. Don't get in a hurry. Let the clock run as long as you want. Don't, don't, don't do anything. Just let it go. One minute, 59 seconds left here. Rogers has no timeouts left. They've got 53 yards to go. And they trail 35 to 7. Zebras need to bring the house right here on first down. At their own 47 yard line. Hit and strip. I'm just going to look at my phone. Come on, Zebra defense. Rogers has two men left, two men right. Zebras look like they'll rush three. Drop eight here in coverage. Mm. And they do just that. Well, we got held the right in. That's it, stay in bounds. There we go, he gets down at the 40. Picks up about 13 on that pass. It's gonna bring up first down and 10 for the Ropers. Our left end got tackled. Tackled to the ground. 
Means a first down and 10 for Rogers. Grabbed his jersey and slung him down to the ground. Same play. Keep him in bounds. Uh, flags are. Another yep. pass play. Uh, yep. and number three, Andrew 34 Wilson. seconds to go here. And the clock's still running. It should be. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's still running. Oh, just okay. letting the folks know since they can't see the clock. 20 seconds. And Kago had a swing at him. Cameron had a, oh, there's a ball on the ground and it's recovered. And 12 seconds, I don't know that they're gonna get another they're play over here. They're not gonna get one. That's gonna be the half, folks. And uh, five seconds on the clock here. I don't think they can get. The referee is not helping not them. Not getting a hurry. No, that's they're going. Half. Everybody's heading to the locker room, and that's the half. The zebras lead 35-7. We'll see you in about 20 minutes. But we'll see ya. Bank First is uniquely Oklahoma, deeply rooted in over 50 communities statewide. From those roots, our investment in education springs forth, helping to raise the Oklahoma leaders of tomorrow while providing financial strength to the business leaders of today. That's the kind of loyalty that helps entire communities thrive. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Say hello to the new parent-teacher chat right in the Claremore Public Schools app. See district and school news and events and now access classroom-specific announcements and parent-teacher chat. Click Rooms in the bottom right to easily switch from district-wide and school-wide news to class streams and messaging. Once logged in, you can access your students' classes. The class stream is where you'll find updates from each teacher with their announcements and upcoming assignments. Click on Menu to access that class's stream, assignments, and messages. Easily send a message to the class teacher by clicking the plus button and typing their name. Switch to another class by clicking on classes in the bottom left. Click school app on the bottom right while in rooms to switch back to district and school news and events. To turn on push notifications for district, school, and classroom notifications, tap settings and select push notifications. Say hello to parent-teacher chat. RCB Bank is community. RCB Bank is friendly customer service. RCB Bank is trusted. RCB Bank is here to help. RCB Bank is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. RCB Bank is everywhere you need us to be. We are RCB Bank. Open an account online today to see why our customers always say, RCB Bank, that's my bank.
you think about high school, your first thought may be, it's just a building, a large classroom, a test, long hallways, and endless reading. But when you get there, you realize it's the place where you start planning your future. Here, our teachers not only care about your academic growth, but they also care about your growth as a person. Our teachers strive to make this next generation resourceful, respectful, and responsible. They will be there for you through your failures and to applaud you for your accomplishments. Our teachers are not only the best in the world, but they're the best for the world. Our students work endlessly to achieve academic excellence. We encourage our students to pursue their dreams after high school, whether it may be college, military, workforce, or beyond. Our counselors at Claremont High School will help you through it all. They will provide all the information you will need to successfully achieve your dreams. There are approximately 1,300 students enrolled in Claremont High School. Our enrollment rate has increased by 4.2% in the past school year. We offer unique classes that not all high schools provide, including biomed, robotics, and broadcasting. Our students will be equipped with the knowledge to take on their career paths after high school. We have something for every student to participate in. Our athletic department has won over 20 state championships since 2003. We provide a wide variety of athletics for our students. We push our athletes academically and physically in the classroom and on the field. Claremore has an award-winning band and choir program. Our choir has won 15 state superior ratings since 2003, and our band has won multiple as well. There are several classes for choir and band, including concert, jazz, and marching band, as well as mixed chorus, jazz, all women's choir, and many more. At Claremore High School, you will remember the friendships you created, the relationships you fostered, and your high school experience will be one to remember. Say hello to the new parent-teacher chat right in the Claremore Public Schools app. See district and school news and events and now access classroom-specific announcements and parent-teacher chat. Click Rooms in the bottom right to easily switch from district-wide and school-wide news to class streams and messaging. Once logged in, you can access your students' classes. The class stream is where you'll find updates from each teacher with their announcements and upcoming assignments. Click on Menu to access that class's stream, assignments, and messages. Easily send a message to the class teacher by clicking the plus button and typing their name. Switch to another class by clicking on classes in the bottom left. Click school app on the bottom right while in rooms to switch back to district and school news and events. To turn on push notifications for district, school, and classroom notifications, tap settings and select push notifications. Say hello to parent-teacher chat. The Claremore Performing Arts Center is one of the greatest attributes to Claremore High School. RPAC has many different categories of classes held there. Interested in choir? We have three different choir courses, which include Bel Chante, Mixed Chorus, and Jazz Choir. What about band? Well, we have three courses to choose from there as well. Concert, marching, or jazz band. How about drama? We have a normal drama class, as well as an advanced drama class for students who look to further their skills. On top of those three categories, the PAC also has a theater production class. This is for people interested in building and constructing amazing sets for our plays and musicals. If you need a place to sit and practice your material for choir, band, or drama, you can go into any of the many practice rooms throughout the different classrooms. Plus, near the drama room, you can find another room known as the black box. This is typically used for students to practice improv, singing, and acting in. Every year, RPAC holds several events. These include talent shows, choir and band competitions, and we also have a play and a big amazing musical at the end of the school year. So, if you are looking for a school with a state-of-the-art PAC to be a part of, then come to Claremore High School, or at least come see some of the amazing things we do here at our Performing Arts Center.
life happens in a hurry. Our money experts will help you keep up. TTCU Federal Credit Union. Life is better in balance. Bank First is uniquely Oklahoman, deeply rooted in over 50 communities statewide. From those roots, our investment in education springs forth, helping to raise the Oklahoma leaders of tomorrow while providing financial strength to the business leaders of today. That's the kind of loyalty that helps entire communities thrive. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Say hello to the new parent-teacher chat right in the Claremore Public Schools app. See district and school news and events, and now access classroom-specific announcements and parent-teacher chat. Click Rooms in the bottom right to easily switch from district-wide and school-wide news to class streams and messaging. Once logged in, you can access your students' classes. The class stream is where you'll find updates from each teacher with their announcements and upcoming assignments. Click on Menu to access that class's stream, assignments, and messages. Easily send a message to the class teacher by clicking the plus button and typing their name. Switch to another class by clicking on classes in the bottom left. Click school app on the bottom right while in rooms to switch back to district and school news and events. To turn on push notifications for district, school, and classroom notifications, tap settings and select push notifications. Say hello to parent-teacher chat. RCB Bank is community. RCB Bank is friendly customer service. RCB Bank is trusted. RCB Bank is here to help. RCB Bank is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. RCB Bank is everywhere you need us to be. We are RCB Bank. Open an account online today to see why our customers always say, RCB Bank, that's my bank.
Johnson has heard it all. Welcome back to Glenmore High School football. Second half action at Tulsa Rogers. Your Zebras lead 35-7 over the Rogers Ropers. Dave Jones again joined tonight by former Zebra head coach David Garut. I want to thank again Hunter, Mr. Hunter Garut, who filled in for me last week while I was uh, under the weather. And I uh, did a fine job. I listened. And so uh, thank you, Hunter. Here we go. Zebra's going to get the kick here. And it is... Uh, in the end zone, Zebras will take over first and 10 from their own 20. Take Coach, down. second half, uh, what do you got here? Bullet, three bullet points for the second half. What needs Zebras need to work on? Uh, number one, clock needs to run all the time. They need right. to make sure the clock's running. Right. They need short to shorten clock the needs game. To run. Number two. Uh, number two, they need to keep it on the ground and uh, keep the clock running. All right, that's, that's number two. Keep the clock running, keep it on the ground. The ball. Number three, what are we going to do Don't here? get anybody hurt. Don't get anybody hurt. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, be good here to take a good drive here, go down the field, running the ball, uh, take time off the clock, and we got King in the right, backfield. King's in the backfield. Give and him hand some the ball uh, varsity the experience. He's got he a goes. good hole right there. Over the right side, and he picks up just shy. They're going to mark it just shy of the first down. Nine yards. That's the very first play of the game we ran with the Grimmett with a pretty much a close to the same result. Landon good, King, just a sophomore, 6'1", 210 pounds, good-looking sophomore. Yeah, nice job of hitting the hole and, and uh, leaning forward on the hit and falling forward, nine-yard gain. Same play to the left side here. If this is how we open the game. And they do same play, and Landon fights for the first down. That's a bank first. First down, Zebras. Nice job, little face mask there. They didn't see. Uh, with my keen eyes up here, I saw that. Uh, got a hold of it, but he didn't keep it very long. King picks up about two. It's going to bring up, ball's going to be marked at the 32-yard line. Uh, bump, more 32. bump goes off here, so we... Uh, have no tight end in the game. Two receivers left, one right. King behind Etheridge. Etheridge, a little spot route out here to Alexander. And uh, Alexander, Raiden Alexander, senior, 6'2", 160-pound senior. And he picks up a bank first. First down, Zebras. Nice job there. Good route by Alexander. And uh, he couldn't have, Etheridge couldn't have put the ball more in between the numbers. Uh, with that one number, he split the number. Nice job there. Clock still running. Did I miss something, Witty? Did you say no, something? No, I didn't say anything, Witty. Uh, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> Play action pass. Etheridge rolling left, throwing deep. Intended out there for Hayden Lee. Hayden goes up and catches the ball, and they say that he is out of bounds. I thought he was in bounds easy. But I'm up here over here on this side. Uh, that, that linesman over there didn't even get downfield. I don't know. He was 20 yards back this way of the pass. Um, I, I don't know. Um, none of the coaches over there. I don't Nobody's see any reaction much. over there. So maybe he was out of bounds. It sure looked like uh, he caught it in the green. Anyway, second 10 for the Zebras. 10-13. Hand the ball off to King over the left side, and he picks up a couple of tough yardage. Going to be, brings the ball out to the Zebra 45 yard line where the Zebras will face third down and eight. The Zebra's going quick. Two receivers uh, right, one left. Single coverage, spot, spot route. route. First Hits down. Deckard out there, and Deckard's run out of bounds. Gag Deckard, they call him Gag Deckard. Uh, I, I don't know, but uh, first down. Hey, that's a bank first. First down, Zebras, I was waiting on you. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a long half. Might be, folks. Zebras up 35 to seven. I think that's the third first down. 
Etheridge has a man, has bump, bump wide open. On the drag route. Bump it's still on his feet. He's, he's still, still on his feet, line. and he's down to the 15-yard line. line. Hanging on to the ball, dragging ball, uh, defenders. Nice throw, good catch. We got to the 15, coach. Why'd they mark it back? I don't know. I don't know about that. He landed on the 15. Uh, anyway. Well, uh, I guess that's why we need to stay up here. Dexter's fade route. Fade route. Oh, oh Dexter slip. slips. Oh, oh. <laughs> almost. Gage <laughs> slipped down. Slip. Etheridge underthrew him. Even if he would have stayed on his feet, it would have been underthrown. But uh, anyway. It was almost tipped back to him. Second down at 10. Eight forty-seven to go here, third quarter. Twins left, fullback left. Grimmett back in the game at tailback. Let's give it to Grimmett, and we trap do. right. He goes. Uh, hey, wide. he's going. He's at the ten. He's at the five. He's rumbling all the way down to the two-yard line where he's going to be marked out. Hey, coach, that's a bank first. First down and go for the zebras. Tyson Grimmett all the way down, leading there by Big Ben Jordan. His uh, big brother, Noah Grimmett, the offensive coordinator, called his number there. Mm -hmm. Boy Wonder is what I like to call Noah. Boy Wonder. Boy Wonder also led there by Aaron Braswell there on the counter trap to the right. Uh, Noah saw uh, the opening to the outside. Excuse Tyson. me, Tyson. Tyson saw. <laughs> so you got me confused now to the right. And Don't forget about Ethan, the middle yes. brother. Yeah. Now think about Noah, Ethan, and Tyson Grimmett. And uh, ooh, oh, look at that play. Yeah, that's something good to work on. Now they were working on that one. Yeah. Bring, uh, bring Deckard in motion from the top hard, and he stops and throws back a little fade pass. Touchdown, Claremore. The Zebras uh, jump up 41 7. 8.05 to go here. Sure wanted to reward Grimmett there for a good run, but. Uh, that was Noah. That was Noah drove that one up, I think, Coach. Yeah. That was a good throw right there. Braxton looks sharp tonight. Is it too early to talk about next week and the importance of next week's game next at home week, against Collinsville? Yes, uh, kind of. Uh, oh, oh, that was, that was no, no good. good. Coach, I'm something we need to really work on right there. Next week, Collinsville at home. I don't think it's too early to talk about. It's going to be against uh, Collinsville. Uh, for second and third in our district, uh, whoever wants to play at home for the first round of the playoffs and uh, probably uh, who wants to travel, the loser, uh, probably end up third and the winner probably end up second. Uh, definitely uh, is the way it is. It uh, looks like it's going to unfold and it uh, looks like we're going to be pretty evenly matched. Uh, Collinsville did beat uh, Grove last week 24-17. Collinsville's up on Edison right halftime, 21 to six. The Sepulpa McAllister, which who has that game has implications for a first round of playoffs. Mm -hmm. They're uh, right now Sepulpa is leading McAllister, 21-15 at half. And so and that uh, looks like the second and third place team in that district, and they're both uh, decent. I don't think they're either one. I mean, great. I think the zebras can play with either one of them. I think capable of beating either one of them. But I do like our chances at home uh, versus having to travel to McAllister. Uh, so Papa's not that far to travel. We need to talk about that, but we were talking about that earlier, so. News there. Mm -hmm. So, Garbani on the stop there. We call his name on the kickoffs all the time, don't we, Coach? Yes, we do. He's uh, he, he's not afraid to hit you. I no, can tell sir. you that right now. Uh, if I needed somebody to help me in an alley fight, who would you, but after me, <laughs> after I was unavailable, who would you call next? Uh, I, <laughs> Actually, uh, I'd call you first because I can outrun you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No, I'm just saying Nick is. Uh, he seems to be a pretty tough little kid, doesn't he? he? That's what you're saying. He I is. Think. Yes, he is. That may be their second best running play of the night right there. 
That's their good running back. Yes. Arce. Isaac Arce had uh, over 1,000 yards. About seven rushing. yards right there on had first it. down. Isaac had about over 1,000 yards last year. Good kid. We got King here at end. Carter Johnson still at the left tackle. They didn't have enough men on the line of scrimmage. Coach. Right. Here we go. Coming this Arce way. Arce is battling. There's a flag. Tackled by Robertson and Cagle. We're going to have a hold, I think, Coach. I believe this may come back. Yeah. Referee Terry That's Kimmel what Jr. The indication indicates is. holding. Shout out to Kim and Gary Davis who are watching us tonight. I know the Cottoners are out there watching still uh, supporting the Zebras. And, uh, you know, I know Danny, he sure thinks he's the bomb.com, but really Thomason's the bomb.com out there. Man, I couldn't say enough about that lady. Well, Danny's a pretty good guy. Well, you know, he he's, knows uh, he's some, some scripture, but if you really want to talk about scripture, Thomason's your go-to. There you go. Here's yeah, the pass catch. out here. Breaks a tackle. Cagle's got him wrapped up and takes bring him down. Up third down and third down and seven upcoming. Along with Rex Clark, uh, looks like a gain of about three. Short gain. Um, we appreciate everybody out there watching us from home and supporting us. Um, if you heard any of our sponsors tonight and you get a chance to thank them, thank them because we wouldn't be here without them. And I want to thank the administration at Claremore, Principal Kenny Hindenburg, who is, uh, supports the ZTV program, who uh, it's a great program. Uh, they do a good job teaching these kids. Uh, we got somebody hurt, Coach? No, it's complete to number 13. They're tied in. Timeout, injury timeout, first down for Rogers. 6.05 to go here. Timeout, Rogers. Our friend Derek Peaster from down in Texas, down South Texas, he's watching. Sometimes I think he uh, he likes to watch us. He's always watching. Well, you know. He's uh, a zebra through and through. I believe so. Them I Peaster so. kids, oh boy, they were, Uh huh. they bleed it. Yeah, you know, those two daughters of his, they were JTers. And that's how I got to know uh, his kids. Man. Whoa, 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 this is Derek. Oh, Derek. Not okay. Derek. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, Darren's girls. Yes. And you won't find two better kids. Both well, of those girls are great. Because of their mother, then, but not because of their <laughs> Here we go, they were Zebra defense. Kids. Hey, it's first and 10 for the Ropers. They've got the ball, the Zebra 40 yard line. Three receivers left, one right. Giovanni Pete, the quarterback, out competing. Quarterback keeper. And Pete picks up, did, hey, hey, Feliciano took it away from him again. He took it away from him again. Once again, <laughs> Josh Feliciano, Pete, second time. Josh just snatched it. Feliciano. Two takeaways. <laughs> Josh just clean stripped that ball. Hey, he smelt it once. He's he going to go in there and do it again. again. Hey, this is pretty good. Yeah. I didn't know I could yeah. do this. Good job, Josh. I'm glad the referee was watching <laughs> for it right there. It was there. clean. There wasn't any question. Yeah. Josh had him. Huh. My lands. <laughs> yeah, I had a strong safety went and hit a kid once and grabbed it from him and took it and went, uh, took it to the house uh, over from Edison, Heath Hannock. He went about 60 to the house with it. First and 10 for the Zebras, 5.48 to go in the third quarter. Inside pass to Garbani. And Nick is on his feet. Coach, he gets picks up about 15 yards. That's Good a, for a bank first. first down. Zebras. Guard Bonnie's got really good speed. Etheridge still in at quarterback, King at tailback. Three receivers left, 
Garbani split over here to the right. King the tailback. Looks like starting offensive line still in. 5.09 to go here, third quarter. Etheridge and oh. Hill. That almost went six the other way. He read, had it red. As a law, he was split way out yeah, there. Split was over here on the far split right really, hash. Really too far wide for that. Uh, the receivers, uh, we didn't all connect on that. They were running the route, and uh, Alexander running the route, and so was Clark, and uh, nobody was blocking for him. And Brings up second down and 10. Etheridge drops back, a little Decker, spot pass, and, and he Gage dropped, dropped the ball. Decker dropped the ball right to him. Maybe tried to turn and run with it before he caught it there, Coach. Five minutes to go, third quarter, third and 10. You know, they only got five in the box right now. They got one really deep in the middle. They got nobody. They got one man on Six two receivers now. over here. What, yeah, what do we, we got an uncovered Decker on Decker run, right just, there. Just throw it to him. Don't oh, wait. Oh, we're waiting oh, on them to goodness. cover us. Now run the post. <laughs> <laughs> they get it out here to Gage. He yeah. catches it. First down. Don't Bank first. First down. Zebras. Hey, it's getting colder. Don't pull a hamstring. Yeah, that That's wind is uh, 4.53 to go here. 4.53 to go in the third quarter. Zebras lead 41-7. On the march here. There's nobody covering. Double uh, twins. We're running it over here. They're getting uh, getting out here late. Hayden Lee. Hayden's mm. still on his feet. And he's brought down. Yeah. But not after he doesn't. He gains a bank first. First down. Zebras. Turn Another first clock. down. Get that clock running. Yeah, that keep thing. it running. There we go. I'd like to thank Randy Swift for sending me the rules uh, for when the clock stops and starts. I can't make heads or tails out of it, but he and I will have a future discussion. Throwing deep. Uh, intended out there for Deckard. Interference. Interference on uh, Deckard. Ball was uh, underthrown. I think the wind's blowing just enough to affect the ball, don't you, Dave? Well, it's blowing enough to affect me. I can yeah, tell I know you that. that. It is me. My circulation um, at my age right now is just not real good. Um, I'm pretty warm except for my hands. Of course, if I would have wore, all I brought was a muscle shirt tonight. Well, you got that. Got, looks like you got your wife's gloves on. Does she know hey, that you have your you hey, have her gloves? Hey, do you, does everybody know out there? I'm standing on the right side of Dave, <laughs> and I'm trying to stand where I'm blocking all his wind, and he's got Miss Johnson standing in front of him. <laughs> oh, there, that's a bank first. First down on the on the penalty. penalty. We got twins left. Cagle's full back on the right. Grimmett back in the game at tailback. Bump the tight end over here on the right side. We got trap left. Linebacker on the right side. Number we didn't get blocked. In on the tackle, run by 34, Tyson Grimmett. Brings up a second and eight for the Zebras. I will say this too, Dave. I believe uh, Tyson's gotten more comfortable each game. He's ran more and more. I think you're right. You know, I really believe. Hand the ball off to King, King and he. Backside tackle. Made him in the background. Well, you know what? Hopefully oh, he's not get hurt. get up, get up. Hopefully he's not hurt. Uh, I think a knee. Uh, yeah, he's hobbled. He kind of, uh, kind of one of those tackles where he grabs you high and just goes dead and brings you to the ground. Looks like he's gonna make it off on his own, so maybe He'll be okay. All right, two receivers left, one man right. Kegel the wing back on the left side. Grimmett running back behind Etheridge. We're gonna have to get rid of it's this third one down and nine. Etheridge looking in the deep corner, intended down there for Lee, and it's That's caught for a right touchdown. On. That's a beautiful pass. Bank right first. 
first down, but that, that, that pass down. from Etheridge. That was too, on the money, wasn't that it? That was uh, beautiful ball right there. That was next level. Yeah, definitely was, so. So, do that again. That's a hard ball to throw right there. Um, right on the money right there. That was a drive that took um, Not enough nine time. minutes. Not enough time. Nine hey, minutes. coach. What? Guess who's kicking? It's Is Abby. Abby Teets. It's Abby Teets, I believe. Either that or uh, look My, at that. Yeah, wow. Right through. <laughs> oh, up and right that's, through. That was money right that's there. Right there, money. Abby. Hey, uh, guess what, Dave? Tell me about it. TTCU Federal Credit Union, home of the Claremore Zebra Pride Card. Each time you use your card, money goes back to the Claremore Public Schools. With approved credit, some restrictions apply. TTCU Federal Credit Union life is better in balance. TTCU is one of our fine zebra football sponsors. Thank you, TTCU. You want to expand on those restrictions? You said some apply. Which ones do you know? Just the ones that we know that apply. Okay. Very okay. Good. Here we go. Looks like uh, Abby will be. No, kicked. that's not Abby. That's number 19. That is Lee Hudson. Hudson Lee. Abby is 16. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're, you're wrong again. Wrong, wrong. Here we go, here we go. 301 left to go in the third quarter. Zebras are up 48 to 7. Hudson. Nice kicks the hard ball. kick into the wind down to the 15. Where's Garbani? That was uh, uh, home right there. That was Gunner home. Garbani didn't make the tackle. Nice job. Gunner home. Tackle that the 25 yard line, we do believe. You know what channel the pokes are on tomorrow? Yes. Channel 8? Uh, ESPN 2, I think. Okay, very good, very good. They play at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Okay, very good. They Counter play, tray. They play Cincinnati. I'll wrap up. <laughs> 51 slowed him down. 54 slowed him down. But then 51 also slowed him down. Okay. 51 is Eli, Elijah Webster. Gain of about five. Hand the ball off. And he is. Right at gonna, the first down marker. They're gonna I believe give he's going to have down. it. They got it. 22, Isaac Garcia on the play. Isaac Garcia, their good running back, picks up the first down, wind that clock, Terry Kimmel. And, and he does. And ball marked at the Rogers 35 yard line. Do you know why the uh, Will Rogers High School is called the Ropers? Because that's why they want to be called. Hand the ball off to Arkey, and he's uh, looking for room over the left side, and he picks up decent yardage. We got a There's pink a, flag. We on got the a field. pink flag on the field, <laughs> holding. Oh my! I'll let that go right now. It's not going to make a difference in the game. If I was a head coach over here. I'm, and I'm down 48 to seven. You call hold on my guys. Holding called against Rogers. Bring the ball back. Boy, boy, boy. Would you? Were you ever down 48 to seven? What was the worst whooping you took as a coach? I don't know. Ada, probably. I don't know. Off they, the top of my head. Were they pretty good back in the day? Yeah. Well, you know, we had the. Drag her out. Garbani just missed it. New quarterback, and he's loose. And he's going to run Why out of bounds. Why does he run out that quick? Um, no, it's not a new quarterback. And Giovanni Pete on the run. Giovanni Pete is going to 
live to find another day. They've got a big matchup next week against Tulsa Edison. That should that could be a pretty good yeah, one. Yeah, that'd be a good game. That'd be a good game. I, who would you pick on that one? Mm, probably would, Edison. I would too. I'd say by 14, maybe. Okay. We, we got, got a, a discussion. Hey, you need to tell them. Hey, run that clock while you discuss this. It's cold out here. <laughs> Uh, brings up second down in about four. We got Carter Johnson. Unless we have two, I think we got two seventy ones, don't we? Well, not at the same time. No, but this is a different seventy one, I believe. I think. Are our freshmen out yet? Are the, is the junior uh, high season over? Uh, the freshmen are out because they're black helmets over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, the zebras are done. King is coming in, but he's limping. <laughs> but he's coming in at defensive end. <laughs> he's limping a little bit. Uh, 54 is still trying to. Quick pass out to the left. Home, home is there. Shoestring tackle, but brings, home got him down. Gunner. Brings him down. They pick up about four. 49 seconds to go here, third quarter. Do we got any sponsors left in this quarter, Coach? Or are we all down? Uh, where are we at? Third, third quarter. quarter. We're uh, all out. Yeah, we got one more. Well, we'll take it at the end here. Okay. Second down and six upcoming. Ooh, this wind has picked up, folks. I don't know what the temperature is. What to say on your phone? I wouldn't. I haven't looked at my phone all night. Right there. Good job, right there. Is that Feliciano? It says 52 degrees. I can't tell. In the backfield by number 51, Elijah Webster. 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 Good play there by Webster. Nice play by Webster. And that's the end of the third quarter, Coach. Okay, Neely Insurance, being in business since 1951. It is clear to see we have the experience to help our customers with the ever-changing needs of the industry. Neely Insurance, proud sponsor of Zebra Team Football. Thank you, Neely Insurance. We appreciate you being one of our sponsors and uh, supporting ZTV and the Zebra Football Team. Without your support, we wouldn't be here tonight. Thank you, Neely Insurance. Well, Dave, what do you think about the game, about what you thought tonight? Yep. <laughs> okay, I just appreciate you helping us fill in there in between quarters. Uh, so how many how many viewers we got, Miss Johnson? Uh, about two. 300 viewers, thank, thank you, you all thank for you. watching us drink a cup of hot cocoa for us. We're not used to cold weather. Uh, we haven't had any until tonight. We've been pretty fortunate this year. Whole bunch of new zebras uh, numbers out there, yeah, Coach. Yeah, we got a bunch of them. The only thing we've uh, dealt with this year have been wasp. Uh, <laughs> yeah, up there at uh, Grove. Up Grove, and uh, we got a pass, and he's hey. being pursued. There we go, 36 was uh, the Good man Good job there. right there. That was uh, Bryson Hall, just Bryson a sophomore. Bryson Hall, good job, Bryson. Good. Ruffing, uh, rushing from off the edge. Fourth down. Nice They're gonna job there. Bring their punt team in, Coach. Uh, we're going to. Yes, they're bringing their punt team in. Bringing their punt team in. Julio Gomez drops back. Punt. Hayden Lee. Uh, we need to scoot up. This might be interesting here. Oh, he did What's wrong good. with that? Nothing wrong Fair with that. Fair catch called for. Very good. Oh, we got tackled from behind. Oh. <laughs> Hayden, Hayden, it wasn't a it wasn't hard that hit. That wasn't Hayden Lee. <laughs> no. That was Walker Dunaway. Uh, Walker. <laughs> good job, Walker, catching the ball. And then he got tackled from behind. Number one, a ninth grader, Jordan Smith. He's a... He's a ninth grader for the Ropers, and he, uh, I guess he didn't see the fair catch, but he, uh, he, he got, brought, he, he got Walker down. <laughs> uh, 
personal foul against the yeah. roughers. Wasn't that? No, it shouldn't be 15. That yeah, you know, I kind of, I don't like that call, you know, because here they're running down the field and you expect them to see it. And uh, I'd like to call fair catch as soon as they punt it, you know, call it real quick and, you know. Yeah, I mean, he did call, he signaled you know, very and, early. Yeah, and then, uh, he never saw it. And it wasn't like it was a horrible it hit. <laughs> yeah. Zebras take over. New quarterback for the Zebras. That's uh, Trip Jackson, the junior quarterback, 6'3", 185 pounder. And they give it to uh, that's a Levante Heck here. Heck, I mean. And Heck picks up uh, about seven yards over the right side. He hit the hole pretty hard there, Dave. Yes, he did. He hit the hole pretty hard. Heck is a 5'8", 150-pound junior. Pretty good speed right there. Here comes Walker. Oh. We're going to be, I think, empty backfield. Empty backfield. Uh, we got trips left. Trip Jackson in the backfield. We're going to run counter trap with Jackson. I think you're right. How did you know that? For no gain. It's just pretty uh, insightful right just there. Pure wisdom, Dave. <laughs> hey, it was, you've seen a football game or two, haven't it's you, just Coach? A, it's just a good guess, but I, I really kind of think we only had 10 men on the field. I do, too. Uh, <laughs> we ran the play. I'm glad it wasn't to the tailback. <laughs> Here we go. Zebras, uh, might have third been down supposed to be to the tailback. Third down and five for the Zebras. Again, Trip Jackson, quarterback in the Zebras now. Levante Heck in the backfield behind Jackson. Jackson drops back, spot pass, gets the ball out there just short of the first down. He hit number, was that number 30 out there, Coach? Well, it's kind of hard to see. It looks like 30. Well, that would be yes, Cam sir. Mendoza. Or 36. 36, that's Bryce Hall. Okay. We're going for it, Zebras. Lined up pretty quick. We're going to try to get him to jump, aren't we? Yeah. And there we, we do. did it. Uh, 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 it worked. Hey, Coach, that's a bank first. First down. Zebras. Zebras lead 48-7, 9.52 to go here. Fourth Smith quarter. <laughs> Zebra th band still playing. I think the Zebras have made the temperature tonight. 40, I know it's uh, 50. I, what did I tell you it was? It was I, I don't just remember. Looked. What's 52, 52. What's it feel like? It feels like colder than 52. <laughs> That's what my wife always wants to go is it feels like. What's it feels like? There it goes. There uh, goes Levante. Cook. Good job. Still on his feet. Rumbling down close to the first nice, down. Good nice hard run. run. Yeah. Levante, heck. That power Picked up sweep. nine. Yeah. Nice run there. Almost a. Almost, but not yet. They've got their money's worth tonight, Coach. Yes, they have. <laughs> Zebra offense definitely give them bank first. A good run for their money tonight. Trips left, full back right. Jackson. Out route. Hey, he's free. He, he, is that the Alexander? Alexander. Runs out of bounds. Hey, Coach, 8.55 to go That's here. a bank first. First down. So I, I, I don't know if you have heard, but this week Claremore lost uh, uh, quite a lady, a very special one to Claremore and Claremore Public Schools. Ludmila Robson passed away earlier this week. Her and her husband, Frank Robson, oh, have I donated. Heard. donated I heard. You know, built the Performing Arts Center and uh, have done so much for the school foundation, but Miss Robson oh, had been in poor health and, and she did pass away earlier and want to send our condolences and um, thoughts and prayers to the Robson family and thank them again for everything they do for Claymore Public Schools and just a fine lady and known her a long time and just a uh, pleasant, pleasant lady. And, and uh, again, sorry to see that happen, but yes. uh, the Robson family has been awfully uh, wonderful to Claymore Public Schools. Well, uh, just just a, such a nice, thoughtful family, uh, just both very thoughtful. And uh, I can't tell you how nice they have been to my wife and I over the years been employees of Claremore Public Schools and just how thoughtful uh, they have been over the years and 
Uh, just what uh, Mr. Robson has done, and I, you can't say enough about them uh, for our community, uh, what they've done for Claremore, uh, the community and the school. Coach, we got a first down on a personal foul. That was a bank first, first down. Zebra's rolling right, still throwing it and caught out there. Was that Robertson for the touchdown? Yes, it was. Michael Robertson, so. good catch. Good throw, good catch. Jackson, Jackson to Robertson, touchdown Zebras. And we are officially over the temperature, Coach. <laughs> yes, we've shot above the temperature. 54 points for the Zebras right now. When we can do that in Claremore, Oklahoma, we know that it's been a very good offensive night or it's been very, 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 very cold. Fortunately tonight, it's been a very good offensive night. Abby Teets back in to Come kick. Come on, Abby, let's see it. Last one was uh, spot on. Coach? Very good. Anything wrong with that? No, nothing wrong with that. Teets kick is up and it's good. Zebras lead 55 to seven over the Rogers Ropers. 8.07 to go here in the game. That was a good throw there, Dave. It was, yeah, we need to run it more. We need to quit throwing it. <laughs> I think we're thinking, pers uh, we're, <laughs> thinking we're, we're selfish, for, aren't we? Yeah, we're trying to be selfish here. I think I'm about ready to sit down. That, I'm gonna sit down in that chair. Well, who's gonna block the wind if you sit down? I don't know. I've been blocking it the whole game for you. I drove you over here, bought your dinner. Uh, I guess I'll drive you home next. Oh. <laughs> I give hey, you, let me just tell you, hey, I give riding you with this guy, off. Nicole, riding with this guy, I've never, I mean, <laughs> I, it's, it's enlightening. He does not slow down. I'll tell you that. It is a. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, that's what that left lane's for. It's not, it's not for slowing down. It's for passing. <laughs> Here we go, we got 19. You don't know his name yet? You got his name down yet? It's Lee. Hudson. Lee. Hudson Lee. He's gonna go over and talk to the kicking coach. And he's gonna come back and he's gonna say, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say, say, say it. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> uh, instead of kicking to him, we're gonna kick off with him. Got here, okay, we go, good. here we go, Zebras. Here we go. Zebras 55-7. They're on the 15-yard line. Drive that thing. Oh, good high short kick. It's hitting the ground. Oh, oh he God. kicked it. Oh, we got it. No, we didn't either. 28-yard <laughs> uh, line. It's not bad. That's that's better than our average. Here we go. 8:04 to go. Don't stop that clock. 4th quarter, RC Bank is here for you. That's why we are proud to support Zebra Athletics. RC Bank, your hometown community bank, whatever your banking needs. RC Bank has you covered. RC Bank. That's my bank. bank. Member FDIC. That's my bank. Thank you RC Bank. First and 10. Start that clock. They did. And the ball off, met by a host of Zebra defenders, dropped for about a two yard loss. <laughs> what are you watching? That's a two yard gain. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Here, you wanna watch, you wanna look at my phone too? Here we go, 728 and counting down. The school board keeps texting. Three receivers right. Oh. Incomplete pass. He was open. He was open. Oh. Threw it a little bit behind him there. We got all subs in the game on defense. We got 33. Uh, Xander Rodriguez at the left corner. Yeah, let's name some of these we've, kids we've in the game. We've got uh, 11. Look at free That's safety. That's Andrew Hancock. Andrew Hancock. We free got... safety. Drops back to pass again. Court now. Oh, deep over the middle. Oh, good play. Almost had it. 
Good, good job by the free safety. That, that looked like that number was, 11. Uh, that was Andrew Hancock. Looked like 11 there. Nice job. Ethan Porter's in the game. Playing center field and breaking on the ball. Gabe Hughes is in the game. Yeah, we mentioned, uh, we've already mentioned uh, Webster. He's made several good plays already tonight. Henry Thompson in the game. Um, Christian Bass in the game. Xander Rodriguez. There we go. Ball there rose dead at the Claremore 45 yard line. 6.37 to go. Run the ball. Bank first, if you're looking for a bank with the strength of a national bank, but service delivered with a smile from your neighbor, bank first is your choice. Bank first, loyal to community and loyal to you. Bank first, one of our fine fourth quarter sponsors. We got one more sponsor for tonight. How about this crew, Coach Gracie McManamy, Ariana Ashlock, Jackson Keller, Ella Ragland, Uh, yeah. Great, great uh, ZTV crew tonight. What's our referee is? Miss Johnson's crew is A plus rated. If you need them to come out and film your football game, I'm sure they'd do it for the price. A high price, six figures. Yeah, six figures. And we, we'd probably come announce it with a piece of that six figures. <laughs> we'd have to give the money back if yeah. we came and did it. Yeah. Hand the ball off to Heck oh, over the right side. Job. Look at Levante Heck. He's not going to go down. He's still on his feet all the way down to the Rogers. Bank first. First down. Good job, Levante. Good we run. Go. Good run. Good run. Nice job. Clock's running. So is my nose. <laughs> The wind's picking up. We got a northeaster. Got the sniffles. That's 15. Got that's a new a, quarterback. That's Blake McEwen. Just a sophomore quarterback. He took it and made about five, four or five. Good job, Blake. Thank you. Five thirty and counting. Zebras lead fifty-five to seven. If you're still joining us, we thank you for an ex. Oops, uh, <laughs> oops, thirteen got a little excited. That was Hepler back there. Hepler, our kicker. Uh, legal procedure. I'm sure they'll take it. He so took off a little quick. Yeah, he is a little before the snap. Uh, a little premature there. Yeah, a little excited. Happens to the best of them there, Zane. What do you got? Second down and 10. Here we go, Zebras. Keep that clock running. Keep it rolling. And they hand the ball off to Hepler, and he's looking for room over the right side. Zane picks up about four. They're going to say, keep that clock rolling. He's got good speed. He kind of turned it up and got pretty good speed. Um, you know, all the Heplers that I coach, his dad and uncles all were pretty good athletes, good soccer players, good athletes. He showed a little bit of his speed there. He's going to bring up third down in a long nine. Heck, let's bring Heck back in. We got heck in. Oh, they're backing us up. We had oh, a penalty. Oh, what was we got that a penalty? penalty. I don't know. I didn't see it there. It's going to bring up uh, second down and 14. Uh, okay. We're going to keep the ball. Back us up five more. Clock still running. And Oops, quarterback keeps it, it on the ground. Quarterback keeps oh. no fumble. No Hang fumble on the cut. ball. It's going to bring up third down and about 11. We got 76 set of linemen in the game. Danny Kasky, 79. Luke Roberts, 
was trying to help him out there. 54. 50's in there, Gabe Dax Hughes. Dax Harding, huh? Gabe Hughes is in the game. 35. Uh, Caleb Baker in the game. Fullback. Levante Heck, the running back. Behind the quarterback, Blake McCune. We're letting this clock run as much as we can. It's third down and 11. Blake showed some toughness there on that run. I like that. Oh, he's oh, going to keep it. Little boot. He's throwing it oh, out there. A little low, a little low, but hey, not a bad throw. Good fake there. You know the worst part of that? What? The clock Stop stopped. the clock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what are we going to do here? We're, we're going to go it. for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to run it. Hey, no, it doesn't matter, hey, does it? Hey, we're going to do the same thing again. He's going to keep it. They're going to tell him to keep it. Well, or we're going to hit he, the, Here's no, the thing. If he doesn't to. make it, clock we, we got wing left. Wing left. And the same, same thing again. He throw a little better oh, pass in and yeah, out of the hands yeah. of the intended receiver. Hey, pretty good arm, though. Pretty good arm yeah, there. Yeah, look good. He that is. was intended for Ben there. Green down there, in yeah. and out of his hands. Turnover on downs. Coach can't stress the importance next week. We need a great crowd at Lanto Field next, yes. next Friday night. It's senior night, and Collinsville's coming to town. Collinsville's kind of had her number the last few years, but uh, I have a feeling their zebras are going to uh, rise up. Rise up, you betcha. Hey, you got a black zebras. helmet out there, Coach. We don't have the names for the freshmen that came up. Yes. Number 44, black helmet is out there on the field. That may be, uh, he's a linebacker, he's pretty tough. Don't know his name. Uh, right tackle moved early. Oh, nice tackle there, whoever that was. I'll tell you what. That was uh, 25. Jesse Cake was in the game still. Well, oh, my. Welcome to uh, welcome to high school. Welcome to varsity football yeah. 44. Yeah. I don't know. Did you see? They kinda, <laughs> he kind of. Oh. He, oh. he kind of. 38. 38 came in the game. Hey, 40, 48. 38, Caden Story. Corbin Blaylock is We got down none here. covered out here. Or we're, Alex we're Moore. kind of walked off a little bit. We're straight up the gut here. He's brought down there by 38 there. 27 is there. Mm -hmm. 27 is Josiah Miller. Good job, Josiah. Uh, 21 is out there. Jay Ethan Ponder. Jace Green is out there. 31. 38. 38 is um, 46. Alex Caden Moore. Story. I said that a while ago, didn't I? 69. That's Lex Clark. Yes, that's old Rex's brother, Lex. Rex and Lex. Mm -hmm. Younger brother. He's at the end at the top. Hand the ball off to oh. RC and he's he's free. RC, what was that? Nice tackle right there by 29, I believe. That was a pickup of about 30 yards. No, for the 19. Hudson Lee. Hudson Lee on the tackle there. Minute 40 to go here. 31. 31. Jace Green. I need all 200 of you listeners right now to come out to Lanto Field next week. Yes. We need to get loud. Oh, right there. Make the tackle. Our, our kids need to be uh, our kids need to be encouraged. The uh, Rogers uh, running back picks up big yardage there all the way down all to up the zebra the three. Yeah, minute 17 to go here. We're going to have another kickoff, I'm afraid. Well, you know what? These kids are getting some playing time. Yes, They're going to get yes. out there. we got none covered out here. <laughs> uh, well, if their quarterback looks over here and sees him. Yes, we're pointing. All right, here we go. He's they out here. Him. Oh, oh incomplete. Stop the clock. We just want to come out late. And come out here late. We just wanted to trick them. We use the old trickery. 54 seconds to go. We got some fans heading to the house here. I don't blame them. I'm packing my bag too, Coach. You are? All right, I guess I'll start packing mine. And uh, touchdown, Tulsa Rogers. Touchdown, 
Straight up the gut. RC. RC for the touchdown. RC Cola. Glad to see uh, senior for uh, Booker T. Uh, Booker T. Not Booker T for Tulsa Rogers. Get some, uh, get a touchdown on senior night. That's he's awfully get, he's special. He's getting delirious, Coach, uh, folks. He's getting delirious. 49 seconds to go. Oh, it's getting cold. Kick is up. Gomez's kick is true. 49 seconds to go. Rogers adds seven, makes the score 55 14. I keep trying to scoot this seat back, it doesn't go back. I tell you, the guy went and got the football. Printed over and got it, came back at pretty good speed. He looked like he had some good speed. Yeah, uh, really good speed. We gonna be able to beat the crowd out of here? Well, uh, I think a lot of the crowds left, but oh. uh, I believe so. Where we're parked in our proximity, and we just got to get off the top of this press box. Uh, you got to make sure we get everything unplugged. I may take a Kleenex with me since Miss Johnson's been awful nice to me and giving me some Kleenex. Thank you, ma'am. Um, Are we going to onside this thing? Well, they've been onside it the whole game, and they've been offside the whole game, and uh, we're all coming up. Fair catch. Fair catch it. Oh, we did fair catch it. Good job, Michael Robertson. Smart kid. Smart grandma. Hey, his parents. Are we say about that. Yeah, I did. I gave a, a shout out to Rusty and Reagan earlier. I don't know if he's listening, but I did. Uh, They're in he, Colorado. Yeah, he's in on business out there in Colorado. For nice. he had to go for a few days, so they're going to have to watch it on uh, ZTV. On ZTV, I caught him out jogging this week. Uh, he was jogging uh, one afternoon with his dogs, and they were pulling them, pulling them down the road as he was trying to keep up with them and. They were going at a pretty good clip, and uh, I had to stop him, get him off his rhythm. This should be the final play. Yes, this should be it, folks. We thank you for staying with us. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ch choke That's a freshman uh, quarterback in there. We got a black helmet quarterback. Yes, coach. number 10. He and, got a snap. And that will. Uh, he, he got a snap. He about got lit up. That'll do it, folks. Yes. Kellen Gady, the quarterback, in there for the final yes, step. Hey, good. final score from yeah. Tulsa Rogers. Your Claymore Zebras, 55, Tulsa Rogers, 14. Folks, we need you next week to come out to Lanto Field. Huge, we huge game. We need everybody there. Huge, huge gains against the Collinsville Cardinals. We need you there. For Coach Dave Garud, I'm Dave Jones. Boomer Center. Go Pokes.